After a blue SUV slams into a car in front, it continues to speed away. Despite a crash, car rarely slows down. And the driver, an elderly woman, is horrified for the safety of her grandchild. The vehicle which had plowed ahead for several hundred meters stopped only after falling into a deep roadside ditch. The car accident you saw may have been caused by the sudden unintended acceleration of the car. The driver, a woman in her 60s, was seriously injured and the fellow passenger, her grandson Do Hyun, was killed in the crash. After the accident, the woman claimed she was unable to control the vehicle's speed. However, National Forensic Service reported that there was no problem with the vehicle. The driver who lost her grandson was booked without detention on charges of negligent manslaughter and questioned by police in March. While 10,000 people who sympathized with her plight signed a petition asking authorities not to punish the grandmother, the current Korean law requires the driver to submit evidence of the sudden acceleration in order for the person to be found innocent. Accordingly, Do Hyun's father filed a national petition to amend the law compelling car manufacturers to reveal vehicle defects. In less than a week, 50,000 people signed this petition. As you can see, the sudden acceleration accident in Gangneung has attracted public attention. This issue is not just the tragic story of Do Hyun, but there have been many other similar cases reported in the past 13 years. According to data from the Korean Transportation Safety Authority, there have been 766 suspected sudden acceleration accidents over the past 13 years, but none have been accepted as mechanical problems. Examining the case files, there were only 28 and 34 such cases reported in 2010 and 2011 respectively. But this saw to 136 cases in 2012, which was the period of a public-private joint investigation, and peaked at 139 in 2013. Although the number of reports trended down after 113 cases in 2014, there are still many cases purported to be sudden acceleration vehicle accidents. About five months after the accident, the Chuncheon District Court finally held the first trial on a civil lawsuit to determine if the driver or car manufacturer is responsible for the fatal incident in Gangneung. In the trial, the driver appealed that her heart is broken and she cannot leave with the guilt of being framed for causing the accident that killed her grandchild. Previously, the driver and her family had filed a claim for damages totaling $573,000 against the car manufacturer. The lawyer of the driver stressed the manufacturer's responsibility by mentioning four typical elements of sudden unintended acceleration, such as a roaring sound, liquid leaking from the car muffler, tire marks on the road, and white smoke. While the defense attorney said he would refute in detail after confirming the results of the National Forensic Services investigation. <laughs> 페달 오조작 과실이 없음을 밝힘으로써 진실을 밝히도록 노력하겠습니다. With the standoff plaintiff and defendant, the court designated June 27 as the next hearing date.